dead calm out here except for an owl who you guys see a little bit of a light in the horizon a little bit to wait before it gets light enough to start owl hooting all by myself this morning and I didn't get any birds roosted last night so I'm just kind of going in blind here I'm in the area that uh, I hunted earlier this week and there were some birds around so I'm hoping there's some around today as well so basically we're just going to wait here for a little bit of light and start owl hooting listening for goblin and if we hear any we'll go after them I just heard one gobble. It's like at least another ridge over. So I'm gonna go around this ravine and get on the other side of it and uh, try to pinpoint exactly which ridge. I think he's on the next one over. If that's the case, then I think I've got enough time to get there before it gets too light. This gobbler must be on a different ridge because this one here is basically looks like an old clear cut. It's so thick. There ain't no way the turkey's gonna be on here. So my owl hood again. See if I can get him a guy like he may be on the end of the point. Maybe it's a little more open down there, but up here on this end of the point it is thick. I didn't hear any close, but I just heard one way off this direction. And I'm gonna keep going that way because we hunted there the next or two ridges over earlier this week and there were gobblers over there, so I wanna get off this ridge anyway. It is so thick. We're just gonna have to cross this ravine and get to some better woods. <sighs> Made it to the top from down there. Not only was it thick, but the hillsides were like that, almost cliff-like. But I made it to the other side. Just gonna cool off for just a second. As you can see, these woods are much better for turkey hunting. I'm gonna stop right here beside this tree and make an owl hoop. See if I can get one gobble. here and I'm gonna give my full version of a barred owl with all the laughing and everything try to reach up the valley or the ridge on the other side of the valley and down to the end of this point because that stretches quite a ways I'm just have a seat right here on this hidden log and uh, make some owl calls and see if I can get something to go I'll probably just sit here and listen for a little while because I know there's a bird that was gobbling early on down here somewhere. Maybe he'll fire back up. Turkey just gobbled right down there. He gobbled right down in there. I'm going to slide up to one of these trees here and see if I can call him up that hillside in front of me. Straight down there. 
There's a, there is a little, little ravine right here. I think there's more than one bird. I think there's two towers. the same ridge that we hunted, me and Tyler hunted the other day. Might be the same gobbler. The one that poked his head up on the little ridge and didn't give Tyler a chance to shoot. I'm gonna drift over there and see if I can call him in and kill him this time. off the point like he was last time. I'm going to go ahead and move farther a little quicker. If he does what he did the other day, he just goes off the point a little bit and sits there and gobbles. So his gobble casts into the valley and other ridges. I'm guessing he's just gobbling for hens to come up to his little strut area or his little goblin area. That's his little ridge. He's claimed home. I'm going to slip in there. Let's see if I can call him in. That bird just got a moment ago. It still sounds pretty far off. But it doesn't take much for them to get down off the ridge a little bit and sound like a half mile away when they're just you know, a few hundred yards away. Crows got him gobbling just a moment ago. He just gobbled again. Sounds like he's off the ridge there. I'm going to pick up the pace so I can get up here. Just had a deer blowing at me up here. I think it went that way. Which is good. So, just gobbled up here. I'm either getting into multiple birds or that one's on the move. I think it's. Uh, I think there's just multiple birds around here. We'll get up here on this high spot and just listen for a little bit. He just got one here. He ain't calling down there. He ain't just yelped down here and he got one there. Straight off this way is where me and Tyler were earlier this week.
two got away from me. Contemplating dropping off the hill, using the terrain to get down there closer and kind of pop up the hill close to where they're at. I just don't know if I can get there without being busted. Y'all you know, heard the phrase, uh, leave one, to go to one. That's what I'm about to do. There's more than one other gobbler now. Just go again. And that's a big ridge over there. And that bird sounds hot. I may end up bumping these birds, but I'm gonna just slide up through here as slow as I can and drop off this ridge and get over there. If I'd left earlier, I'd probably already have a dead gob over there. Well, these woods are thick enough, they won't see me in far enough away. If they do, oh well, I'm leaving these birds anyway to go after the hot ones. I can't put off all this gear. Just gotta see if he said he didn't get me. She just yelled me, he just got one. I'm in this ditch now so I can move down the ravine without being seen, hopefully. Stand behind this rock here. Here go. 
over and gone. It's gonna be tricky to set this down. He's up there yelping.
I got him. I'm not about blowing myself over the bridge. Uh, he's up there flopping. Well, I saw him flopping here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, same one that me and uh, Tyler were after. Same exact spot. He's right here on this little hill, strutting back and forth. That hen is what helped. She came down here, she got curious, and just enough for him to come down here and try to keep up with her. Yes, sir. Not a huge beard on it. Little, little hooks on it. But this was his little ridge. This is where he liked to strut. Man, I can't believe what that happened. I was about to just dive off this hill and go after that bird that's been over there gobbling all morning. And I was like, you know what? Maybe they didn't see me. They went quiet and I wasn't sure if they'd busted me or not and left the area. She left the area just a moment ago. I'm gonna take the opportunity now to show you guys kind of what transpired here because I only had the one camera going so you didn't get to see what was behind this behind the camera, a little behind the scenes, I guess. I was coming up this hill here and I'm this is like a little ravine here and I'm guessing it acted like a little funnel and directed the sound to that hen because she was only like 30, 35 yards away when I was coming through here. And I, I imagine she heard the walking leaves because I hadn't heard them call for a while. And then I was about to dive off this hill to go after those birds, which they just gobbled a moment ago. And I was like, you know what, I'm close enough, let's just take a peek. And as I'm easing through here, she yelped. I was like, okay, she's still here. He's probably still here. So I came up here, up this little rock outcropping. I set my tripod there, set my little fanny pack here, and got my battery out to run that camera. I had to step up on a little rock here. And I just slowly came up with the camera and peeked up. And you can kind of see a little bit of sun on my face here. And I'm thinking that's what the hen saw. As soon as I came up here and looked around a little bit, she started putting, and I saw her walking up the hill. And I yelped to her and cut to her a little bit, and that got her piqued her interest. And she thought, I guess, this little blob that came up was another turkey, and she came over here. And she got right about here somewhere. I don't know because I didn't look. I just I could tell by the sound that she was really close, and I could see her out of my peripheral a little bit. And I think I yelped and stuff to her when she was right here just to keep her yelping. Cause that gobbler was just up on that little hill back and forth back and forth or not really back and forth much but a little bit of movement back and forth and strutting and drumming and she finally i guess because she got over here got far enough away from him and all the yelping and carrying on over here he got curious and he come down the hill and my gun is laying here i got my camera the action camera in my hand right here and when he came down, the, it's like a deer trail over there. He walked down and came into the opening. I grabbed my gun and came up with it. And she started putting. And I don't recall. It's all a blur right now. I may have yelped or something and, or cut when she was putting. But he stopped right behind a tree. And there was nothing I could do. And I was like, but he's going to, unless he goes directly away, he's going to come to the left or the right and I'll get a shot. Well, he popped out to the right and he then buckled his wings, folded them up and you could tell he was nervous he was turning to go away because he's a smart gobbler. He's obviously seen some pressure even though he's not like a inch and a half spur gobbler or anything like that. He may be a three or four year old, who knows? But he didn't, he wasn't playing around. When she's putting, he's like, I'm out of here. But as he was turning, I had a clear shot and I shot him. So I'm, I'm like this. And as you can probably see back behind me, let's see if I can get the camera turned here. There's a big drop off and I'm standing precariously on a little rock, basically on my tiptoes to get some elevation. And I knew it was probably going to happen. The recoil was going to kick me back. And so I'm sorry I dropped the camera because I had to save my life because when it kicked me, I went straight back and I just grabbed with, with I guess the hand of my camera, I had the camera and I let go of it and just grabbed the ground. And uh, luckily this rock has like a little lip on it. It was like a little hand, whoa, <laughs> my handle just gave way. <laughs> Thank goodness it held the first time. Because I could have fallen down there and got a couple of scratches and bruises. That's about it. Because it's not a real dangerous situation. Maybe. I don't know. Might have broke a bone. Definitely a hunt. One of those hunts that you'll always remember just how the, the way it turned out. 
And uh, just to think, I was this close to just drop off a good life of those, and I may have never called those in. And I wouldn't have shot this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it, even with the limited amount of footage. And the, uh, the shot's just gonna be a little, a little shoddy. But it was a fun hunt. Let me get out from behind this rock outcropping. Cause I got a long walk ahead of me to get out of here.